What's going on guys? Uh, in this episode we're going to be working on something I've been wanting to do since I bought the Focus and that's to delete the uh, Ford emblem from the front and that little mustache whiskers on the sides. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, cut out that portion uh, and make something for it. Yeah, I guess let's get started. So here we are, went ahead and took out the side underlays. Uh, it all pretty much broke when I took it off, to be completely honest. The, um, so here's the side ones, little clips broke off. So that wasn't going back on anyway. Um, I could probably still use the center one if I really wanted to keep the, uh, the Ford logo basically just fill in that but that's not going to happen living the dream yours and mine euphoria hide and seek reason and rhyme grand and glorious living the dream All right, guys. So here's my idea for the um, the front grill delete. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with the um, New Edge Mustang Mach One, um, but they have a grill delete. I'll go ahead and put a picture of that here. But um, they um, basically what it does is it takes out the the honeycomb and it goes basically the same, almost the same shape. Just this is longer and um, bolts each side. And I believe there's clips on the bottom. So what I want to do is remake that. So I went ahead and ordered some um, uh, ABS plastic so I can go ahead and make my own version. And what I'll do is make a template out of cardstock paper here. And then once that comes in, because I don't have it yet, I'll go ahead and cut it out, heat it up, and basically lay it down and tape it down. So until that happens, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. Um, as you can see, we're going to need to kind of shape it along the path. All right, so we have this mounted with the angle here. So now we can just mark out where it needs to not be. So I'm going to follow this line there. So now we have the bend that goes down. So on the bend that goes down, I'm going to make it spread out and it's going to cover this opening here. So the opening around about there and we'll come down. All that we said. cut this on a flat surface so I get a better cut and then I'll come back and see how it looks. So here's that uh, rough draft. Um, as you can see, I fit right on in here. Um, covers up all the holes so you don't see that. And then what I think I'll do is um, go ahead and get the uh, honeycomb and cut it to fit underneath this ledge and then I'll probably glue in some um, mounting points so I can put in uh, screws or something there 
and then from along this edge what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll attach them uh, attach the uh, the honeycomb to this actual um, grill delete and uh, yeah so it'll be just a little plop in fixture here uh, I think it'll look pretty good uh, once it's all done it's nice cardboard you got there Anthony this is the front grill uh, cutout I'm making that will then be transferred to that ABS panel there so I'm going to make the cardboard one test it out and then if this works out I'll make the full version alright so explain what you did alright so what I did was I took a uh, cardstock strip trace that into the general idea and then I transferred it to the cardboard which is kind of the same uh, width and then tested it out like this I actually added a half an inch to the center which as you can see worked out perfectly um, and this looks really good next step is to transfer this to the ABS sheet that we have over there and then from that, what I'll do is cut out the ABS and then we'll heat it up and place it down to where we can mold it like just like this. I'm getting bit. Mold it in, just keep the heat on it, let it sit, and then we'll tape it and it'll harden into that shape. So it's kind of the same idea as the, uh, the new Edge Mustang, uh, the Mach 1 grill deletes. So it'll take out the holes, you won't see that, and then we'll double side tape this down, and then what I'm thinking of doing is I have the honeycomb uh, grill, and that'll fit from this, I'll glue it down, and it'll fit along this line here, because once the hood's shut, you won't see this, and then I'll um, just basically uh, have it maybe double side taped in there as well. They'll have an Adeline garage CNC out of steel. That'd be kind of cool. So yeah, that's actually going to work out quite well. All right. So once the um, cardboard cutout was checked, um, I went ahead and modified the um, mounts on the top. Just pointed them a little bit more to fit the um, the body lines of the car and then traced out in the uh, the ABS um, I can't remember what size this was at the moment but um, it's a nice it's a thicker size and um, we'll go ahead and cut this out probably with a jigsaw so using the uh, jigsaw I didn't right, quite have the right blade that's the wood blade I was hoping to use the uh, more of a metal blade for it cut it a little bit uh, smoother but it worked um, got the whole piece cut out, and it's now on the car. So I got my heat gun here, and went ahead and taped it down in the center first. Um, and then you just work out from there. I haven't done this side yet, and I wanted to show you before I went ahead and did that. Um, so I heated this up just this corner, <coughs> focused all the heat there, and then went ahead and molded it in, taped that down. So then we'll go ahead and move to this side and get that molded in. And then I'll jump back to when that's on. And there it is, uh, super hot. Um, just press it down. Um, I'm going to heat it up a little bit more, press this a little bit more in here, and then um, work my way up to this part. Basically just heat this joint up, then bend this over. Then once that's done, I can uh, drill the hole out, and uh, it'll bolt, or it'll... Uh, little plug friction clip thing will go in and hold that and then from there I need to make the um, the back plate but that won't be tonight it's just getting this molded in here we are the uh, molded in uh, Mach 1 grill elite for the focus the bugs are going crazy so I'm actually gonna go in and then I don't know I have some more left to do 
Um, like I'll have a few extras. So I don't know if it, what else I'm going to make. But right now it's looking pretty good. Alright, so welcome back to a new day. Uh, let's go ahead and cut the holes for the mounts, the side mounts. What I did was use the original template, uh, matched it up with this one, and used that as the guide. Now we're going to go ahead and drill it out. Um, I should have a stubber bit and I'll get my drill bit out and use that. So I went ahead and traced out the uh, back plate that I need. Um, it's a little oversized and um, this is meant to be bent. So what I need to do is keep this straight uh, and then mark out the area I need. later so I don't know where I left off on this video because it's been quite a while uh, I've been trying to figure out a way to do this um, basically trying to figure out how to make it so it sticks on I finally figured something out so I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, I guess the final product because it's done here is the whole front put together had to fit this in after the grill was in. Uh, what I did was I double sided taped this on. I was wanting to mount it down here but it didn't work out. So this seems to be working so far. And then this is double sided taped down and also plugged into the sides. I haven't got to close the hood yet so I'm going to go ahead and close the hood see how it looks. All right, glare's kind of getting me. Let me move. Here we go. All right. So it actually turned out pretty decent. There's some issues with the uh, first generation of uh, Mach 1 Focus, but um, AP and I were talking. Um, instead of maybe deleting that with a different hood. Um, do a Mach 1 style a uh, floating emblem, so we're gonna try to figure something out uh, See if that looks good if not then we'll go ahead and uh, do the hood swap and Cancel that out All right guys, that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it uh, Definitely give us a thumbs up if you did um, if you're new subscribe, you know all that fun stuff and uh, make sure to hit us up on our social media, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. And um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.